Guys, how are we? Jamie here. Hope you are are well. Um, I thought I'd just come out for a quick run tonight. I was going to go to the gym, but as you can see, it's kind of a, a beautiful, glorious evening here in Humphrey. So I thought I'd head out and uh, tackle a couple of the hills. And I wish I hadn't bothered now because I'm absolutely shattered. Um, but what I thought I would do, I got into a little bit of a discussion on one of the forums that I'm on today uh, regarding regarding money, basically. And I kind of want to share this with the world and be prepared because it's quite powerful. And it also ties into the lifestyle and having lifestyle choices and lifestyle freedoms that quite often, certainly when you're starting out on the journey of your own, you're kind of shackled by. And that's through the social conditioning, the parent conditioning, school conditioning, social structure and so on. But that's for a, uh, certainly a longer video than this. Um, but what I wanted to talk about and really kind of to, to get home and, and to really feel inside and, and take onus and control of is the fact that you have the power to do whatever you want to do or whatever you don't want to do. So if you get asked to do something and you don't want to do it, nine times out of 10, you don't have to do it. But maybe you feel through a moral obligation or social structures or whatever feels that you have to do something. Similarly, if you want to do something badly enough and have that, that kind of inherent burn and need and yearn inside you, you really want to do something and achieve something, go and do it. Because the only person that's stopping you from doing that is going to be yourself. It's going to be, whether it's financial. I mean, the, the one on the forum today was, was an interesting one. And it was talking about maybe not possibly not having the money to afford a $100 a month subscription just for a month or two months or whatever to, to get things going. And, and kind of what I talked about was and that is possible for anyone. Anyone can find $100 or $50 or however much it be, whether they sell something on eBay whether they do some drop shipping on eBay, whether they um, do a gig on Fiverr, whether they freelance a time or whether, God forbid, they go out and get a job. You know, so there is always something that you can do to scrape together a couple hundred dollars. For, oh, for 99 out of 100 people, I appreciate I'm not going to change world poverty, but the point being is that, you know, you can do what you want to do. And if you use money as the excuse and the reason not to do it, then you're always going to be controlled by money. And I appreciate if you don't have any to start with, that might sound like a strange a strange saying or a strange thing because for everybody or for a lot of people, money is... Like I did a Facebook post the other day, uh, you know, when you grow up, it says money doesn't grow on trees. Well, it does actually because money comes from assets and if you have assets that pay you over and over and over and over again, you know, forever, it might as well be a money tree because that's where the money's coming from. So what people do, the wealthy people and the rich people, they plant trees, they build assets, they buy assets. And once you have that asset, you can do whatever you want. But I digress. I'm kind of talking about the power and the control of, of having your own life and being able to achieve what you want to achieve. And once you have that understanding and that grasp on your own outlook, you shape your own destiny and you will get what you deserve to achieve, whether it be nothing because you've not done any work or you've not changed the lives of others, or whether you've embraced change, whether you've tried something new, and whether you've gone on and, and impacted and touched on hundreds or you know even a dozen people, you will have a better life. If you do a thousand people, you'll have so much more of a better life. Guys, we're going on to three and a bit minutes. In closing, control your own destiny. You are the one that's in control of it, no one else. Don't use excuses to prevent you from achieving greatness. And if you achieve greatness, then you're going to touch other people's lives. So if you fail, this is a really good one from Mark Hoverson. Who loses out if I fail, if I, if I don't achieve what I want to achieve? So who loses out? If, for me, who loses out if I don't succeed? There's hundreds, possibly thousands of people. If I don't continue with my hard work and effort and the businesses that I'm involved in and the consultancy work that I do, who fails? And, and who loses out? And it, it, hundreds of thousands of people, potentially. And think about that on your own, your own side of the screen and think about what it can be and what it can be like when you control your own life and you don't answer to anybody. And if that's something you attain, start now, make a decision, be strong, be consistent, and I'll certainly see you in the next chapter. Thanks, Anand. Bye for now.